to another AdventureCraft tutorial. Well, it's been a while. I finally got back into working on AdventureCraft, and my newest creation is the NPC Path Block. It's uh, pretty simple. Uh, it just lets you easily be able to create uh, paths for NPCs that are call, uh, triggered by other various triggers. Yeah, so, first off, we're going to need a NPC. So i got my NPC stick here, and we've got an NPC. Now, basically, I'm just going to have the NPC walk in a, uh, a square. So what we're going to do is we're going to create, just put down four NPC path blocks, which is this nice looking uh, pirate map type looking uh, block. When you uh, click on these blocks with the cursor, it pops this menu. And to be able to actually set it, select the NPC, you have to actually select him, click on NPC, go into the window with the, uh, the NPC stick, and now it's selected. So now when I come over here to uh, one of these NPC blocks, path blocks, I can now set path NPC to this new NPC. And set them all so they go path to the new NPC. Now, since we're going to want to work in a square, we're going to have these path blocks, which when the NPC reaches them, we can actually trigger another block. So what we're going to do is we're going to have them trigger the next block in the uh, order. So we're going to have this block triggered by this one. Because it's current slacking. This block will be targeted by this block. This one gets targeted by this block. And this one is targeted by that block. And to start it off, we're just going to put a little trigger block there, and do that. Now, with these in place, we can actually, the second I trigger into this trigger, what we see here is the NPC now pass along these blocks in a square, exactly as planned. I hope that was... Uh, to see some uh, NPCs pathing now and uh, people's maps, and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Thank you.